What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Why is my voice rough all of a sudden? Or hoarse? What do people say? Go. <coughs> okay. Uh, this is episode 142. Right? <laughs> if my brain serves it's me correct. <laughs> it's 242. 242. Continuing with our last fill in the blank because the word has escaped my mind. We're pretty much doing the sequence of, of the wildest political moments in the U.S. And this is part two of yeah. probably so four. It's 2021. So Mr. Biden is in presidency at this time. So let's see. And just to remind you guys, we're going to try to stream the election out here. On our other channel. On November 5th on our blog channel. So please follow that. Yeah. Description below. And that's all I remember to say. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. My predecessor. Oh, God, I miss it. This one's only two and a half They think long. about 40% of the people still don't think we won. I understand that. You understand that, Mr. President? Well, are there people in the Republican Party who think we're sucking the blood out of kids? Is there anything that... <laughs> Did he just say you think we're sucking the blood out of kids? Yeah, because there was a whole conspiracy that they were... Uh, that Democrats pretty much sacrifice children and take their blood. I feel like they say that about the Illuminati. Yeah, they do. But, yeah, I don't know. This is hilarious. That the National Forest Service can do to change the course of the moon's orbit. The last what? thing need is... I can't. Neanderthal thinking. I started the Neanderthal caucus. Did you get to take a bathroom break? And I didn't. Peter McCarthy says it's against, against the science. Tell our quarterback. Freedom! I have the freedom. Oh my god, Ted, Ted Cruz, Cruz is, is a crazy. Joke. He's crazy. Some men need to be need to bleed need to be um extinguished and he's one of them. To kill you with my COVID? Explain to me why the key sticks to me. You do not know what you are talking about. Dr. Fauci. That's when <laughs> that's when Dr. Fauci had had enough. Because I remember he was keeping his composure for a bit and then he finally just was like you guys are fucking idiots, pretty much, in the nicest way possible. I'm sure there was some corruption within the, the whole vaccine situation, though. Here. Because oh, yeah, it's being incentivized, Here. and that's not good. Wait, we have an eyelash. Make a wish. Don't say it. <laughs> All right. No, everything has, you know, a Profit political... Incentive. But at the same time, when you're a doctor and you're giving your expert advice, the last thing you want is to constantly be interrogated as your have your own agenda like personal gain yeah and that was the point where all the conspiracy theorists were going hard on him yeah they were going ape shit on him i remember that yeah and he's just sitting there like trying to get through every it reminds me of bernie on that one moment where he was sitting in the chair oh, I love that. that people got the yeah just like that that's funny it's a good halloween costume your rant thing again. Perhaps you remember your first edible. Nicki Minaj's cousin's <laughs> testicles are not swollen. It's Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles. For God's sake to live. What? How difficult is this to understand? <laughs> Take the vaccines. You got no, that's okay. That's all right. Mmm. Vaccinations. I love all, all no the way. unlimited salad, garlic, breadsticks. That was Just a for weird. the record, I like Were they really trying to like sell them like that or get you to take it yes, with that? Yes, they were offering. I don't even remember that. I do vividly remember that. I'm like, who's going, if fries is all it takes for you to go get a vaccine, that's pretty insane. Like anything free they were offering. Damn, I don't even remember that. Yeah, like they were offering, I think, hamburgers too at one point. They were for pe pre else. a lot of places in the workforce were for forcing people to do it too, which was pretty crazy. Um, if you work in the health field, then yeah, I mean that to me that kind of makes sense. It's like y those jobs you already kind of know what you're getting into. They pretty much tell you you need to up be up to date with certain <laughs> vaccines to have those jobs. Ew. When I worked at it's so gross. When I worked as a TA when I was in high school, we had to have certain uh, vaccines. What's a TA? Teacher's assistant. Oh, got it. All right. Texas. Uh huh. <laughs> Shut up. The Olive Garden. I'm tired of your shenanigans. You have disrespected the blueberry bill. And I'm going to go inside <laughs> and make a steak. Good for you. The, the fake, fake news just, just doesn't, doesn't get, get it, do they? 
I wasn't a fan <laughs> of our last president's character. You would not have gone to this if it were still the last president. Really? That's uh, hard to believe. Anthony, you're too smart for that. Well, he worked for Trump, so I don't know. You're not going to blame this on <laughs> President Trump on my show. It was an episode of a show, Laura. Well, what's it called? You! Doc Seuss, not a real doctor, but he does seem smart. <laughs> he was canceled. It's beginning to look a lot like arson. Whoever is running to Politico <laughs> like a little You're being a little You son Raised. of a It's explosions of bull It's bull It's all bull You call Senator Sanders everything but an ignorant slide. Incited the erection. Uh. Insurrection. I don't think you're gonna He did not. Incited the erection. <laughs> Where did what? I feel like I didn't. I don't remember any of this. Freudian slip. Um, I feel like you said in our last video because of how much happens at once, back to back. You just let you you don't remember. It's like everything. a blur. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We love right. to be reminded of the chaos. <laughs> the marbles up your ass. What's your name, sir? My name is Go f Yourself. <laughs> and are you from Ohio? No. <laughs> Finally. Infrastructure week. <laughs> He's gonna rebuild what it the and fuck? we're gonna build it back better. Build back better. Blah blah blah. Close the economy. Benefits everybody. Hurts nobody. I love upstate. I love downstate. I love the whole state. I have great deal of respect for women. My mom was a woman. That's ridiculous. No fucking way. My mom was a woman. That's groundbreaking. You're ridiculous. You did it. Facts matter. Dispute it. Oh wow. Sick burn. Are you a pedophile? Q tells us stuff in all of its lies. Well, thank you, Facebook. I I lie about shit. I'm not a cat. Boy, that went sideways. Thank you all. On that high note, thank you all very much. All what right. a trip. America is a oh, massive trip. I'm getting trip. like, I'm, I'm, get, I'm kind of remembering some of it, this stuff as it, as it comes back. I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, this shit really did happen. Yeah. It's insane. This should be an ad for us to all be on antidepressants. I'm really surprised they haven't made a reality show out of, like, based on the, the, the presidency and all that stuff. Well, they would, we would see beyond the curve. No, I know. I feel like. I feel like before 2016, we didn't have this type of, like, reality show rhetoric in yeah, our I politics. Didn't, it didn't, we didn't feel as uh, close to uh, politicians as we do now because i was watching um we're not in, we weren't as invested i know i was watching obama and who's the guy mitt romney was that the guy who would go, was going against him mm -hmm. and they were like complimenting each other while they were debating Wait. they were like calm why can't i yeah yeah damn i forgot about that yeah and it was like wow it was a different we world were young though when obama got elected 2008 yeah i want to say i was like in was i in eighth we're, grade? i was 14 or we were in ninth grade yeah like 14 13 I was ninth grade, yeah. So you must have been. You were like, yeah, yeah. But still, that I mean. Well, he went. He for no, he was against. Uh, pretty sure it was Mitt Romney. Was it? Pretty sure. I was. I was watching the other day a debate thing with him, and I pretty sure it was Mitt. I don't know, but it, the, this. The, was, oh, sorry, my brain. Because I remember um, George Bush was right before him. Before, yeah. Were they? T but because Bush served eight years. Right? I'm pretty sure. So from 2000 to 2008. 2008. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But I was just oh, listening to like the mm -hmm. the way they would talk and how everything was and it was just so much more calm. It wasn't all like but they had respect for each other. That's what I meant. Like you, you, <laughs> now it's just become like a bashing game from both sides. Both it sides just bash me each other. Of the show The Boys a little bit. The Boys? Yeah. Oh. The superhero. Yeah, one. yeah. That's a pretty good show too if you haven't seen it. But yeah. I'm not caught up on it, but from the little I do remember, it felt it's political, like it a like satire. Dystopian. Yeah, yeah. It felt like yeah. it definitely feels like satirical dystopian hell we're living in. It's just weird. I don't even know. Or you have to. There's so ask many people. If it's real or not? Yeah, and there's so many people online that are. I just learned this term the other day. Grifting on it, like <laughs> the, on like the fear of people. Brian was showing me this video of Ben Shapiro. Um, <laughs> excuse me, and he, and he was debating a bunch of college kids. I'm like, they're not all college kids. They're just Ka Kamala supporters. Oh, okay, my bad. Usually he tries. To, that's his like whole stick is like debating college kids that are liberals. And um, I already seen the thumbnail. I was like, I don't really want to watch it because I know this guy's gig, like you know. And Brian's yeah. like showing me clips, and he goes, "Is he what you would call a grifter?" Oh, I was, I was like, talking about Charlie Kirk. Oh, same shit. Yeah, honestly. I feel like they're probably the same type. And I was like, "Yeah." People. And he goes, "Yeah, I just learned that term." <laughs> no, but it's because it seems like they just they and what I hate about YouTube too, and what they'll do is 
they'll take clips of people that are say on the left or something and they'll just highlight the people that are really like ignorant and don't know anything it happens both ways but yes but right. i see it more uh highlighting on the left it's the same way you get street interviews people asking americans geography questions and of course they're only going to choose the ones yeah. that are funny yeah it's because there's it's people make whole careers off of this of just like the fear of people and like exaggerating and exacerbating things that really aren't as big of a deal as they are yeah, yeah. i mean if your whole political side is runoff they're gonna the turn my kids into trans gay kids yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is, is living in fear that your kid might be trans if they go to public school and not the fact that there's not gun reform i i can't help you, you or health care can be fixed or the economy that's beyond privilege or housing that mindset yeah i don't know but yeah all right well like we said we might we might live stream the election i gotta figure out some stuff but hopefully we can do it it'll be on our other channel so if you want to jump over and subscribe there please do and give us a thumbs up and yes giggle with yes. us tell me if any of this was aired wherever you're from i'm sure it was like uh but entertainment I feel like purposes they get, they get more of the highlights yeah. versus the everyday bullshit that we see on the media yeah i get that i don't know tiktok definitely pushes a lot of stuff now so you never know that's true all right well we'll see you on the next one peace <laughs>